The imperfecto is a past tense which communicates an ongoing action in the past. Pasado means past, and the pasado in Spanish has two past tenses actually. One is the pretérito imperfecto. The other is the pretérito indefinido. Pretérito is another word for pasado. They are synonyms. So as we go through the set of lessons, we're not going to call it the pretérito imperfecto or the pretérito indefinido every single time. To make it simple, we're just going to call them the imperfecto or the indefinido. Those are both pasado, past tense. The focus of this lesson will be the imperfecto. And what's the difference between these two verb tenses? Let's look at that. The imperfecto is an ongoing action, as opposed to the indefinido, which is a one-time action. If you were to see the verb hablar, for example, in the imperfecto, I was speaking or I used to speak would be two ways that you would translate that into English. Whereas if you were to see the verb hablar in the indefinido, you would translate that, I spoke. So that's going to be the main difference between these two verb tenses. I was speaking or I used to speak, an ongoing or an action that you repeated multiple times in the past, versus a one-time action in the past. This lesson will be focused on the imperfecto past, the ongoing action. So let's focus on the imperfecto throughout the rest of the lesson. Let's look at hablar in the imperfecto. The stem is going to be regular, as it always is. And let's look at the endings then for the imperfecto. I was speaking or I used to speak. If you want to communicate that in Spanish, you would say yo hablaba, tú hablabas, él hablaba, hablábamos, hablabais, and hablaban. We would translate this conjugation into English by saying I was speaking, you were speaking, she was speaking, we were speaking, y'all were speaking, or they were speaking. Another way to translate that would be, I used to speak, you used to speak, all the way through the list. Those are the two ways to translate this conjugation of the imperfecto. The endings are aba, abas, aba, abamos, abais, and aban, and focus on the fact that abamos will have an accent over that first A. Let's see what me gusta phrases would look like in the past tense. Me gusta, we know, would be either me gusta el libro, if it's one book that you like, or me gustan los libros, if it's multiple things you like. It'll be similar in the past. It'll be either me gustaba or me gustaban. I used to like the book or I used to like the books. Let's translate the me gusta phrases in the imperfecto. Me gustaba, I used to like. Te gustaba. Le gustaba. Nos gustaba, os gustaba, o les gustaba. I used to like, you used to like, she used to like, we used to like, y'all used to like, and they used to like. So if you want to say you used to like something in the past, you would say me gustaba. And of course the ABBA endings are going to be the same all the way down the list. And if you want to say it's multiple things that you liked, me gustaban los libros, you would add the N. So it's going to be either me gustaba or me gustaban for me gusta phrases in the imperfect. Let's look at the ER and the IR endings. Comer, I used to eat or I was eating. Vivir, I used to live or I was living. Comía, comías, comía, comíamos, comíais, and comían. Notice in this set of endings, the I all the way down will have an accent over it. Ia, ias, ia, íamos, íais, and ían. The same set of endings will be used for vivir. Vivía, vivías, vivía. Vivíamos, vivíais, and vivían. When you use this set of endings, what you're saying again is, I was doing that thing, or I used to. Comía, vivía. I was living, or I used to live. I was eating, or I used to eat. The endings are right here. For AR verbs, it's going to be aba. For ER and IR verbs, it's going to be ia. Abamos will have an accent over the first A. And ia will have an accent over the i all the way down. Pasado again, there are two in Spanish, the imperfecto and the indefinido. The primary difference is imperfecto, which is what we're looking at right now, is an ongoing action, whereas the indefinido is a one-time action. To translate imperfecto would be I was speaking or I used to speak, whereas the indefinido will be I spoke. That's the primary difference between the two past tenses. And our focus, of course, is the imperfecto, which is our lesson for today. A past tense which communicates an ongoing action in the past.